Rotomite is essentially a self-contained, man-operated, floating boat with an auger and pump to remove material that has settled in a pond. The Rotomite 6000 is the most productive model on the market as far as, as, far as cubic yards per hour. A person that wants the Rotomite 6000 is somebody that wants the best equipment there is. Uh, everybody from a, a mining company to a municipality to a contractor, uh, it works in many, many applications. Well, the Rotomite 6000 is a very versatile unit. Uh, one of the main things that sets it apart is its ability to, to handle a much larger area. Uh, in other words, an area that, that won't support a cabling traverse system. So we can use the self-propulsion. Other things that it handles is all types of materials, aggressive materials, uh, slimes, uh, sludges of, of most any kind. We get into bottom ash, we get into fly ash, we get into lime, we get into mine tailings. Uh, just a tremendous variety as far as the applications it can handle. The Rotomite 6000 has a self-propulsion feature that makes it very unique in that it doesn't have to be tied to a cable to actually go out and dredge it, particularly for an odd shaped pond or around docks. Self-propulsion allows you to get into various areas where a uh, cable dredge cannot, uh, ponds that are too large, ponds with obstructions in them, uh, ponds that you cannot uh, install a cable in. It will allow you to go in uh, various navigable waterways or inland waterways, places where you cannot set up a cable. The Chris Foley self-propulsion system allows the Rotomite into any place that you can get a boat. The Rotomite 6000's uh, propulsion system is unique. Um, nobody else, none of the competition has a propulsion system like ours. The self-propulsion feature is fed by a 72 horse hydraulic motor that turns a bronze prop that swings through a wide angle to push the rotomite with about a thousand pounds of force. Uh, the rotomite is very maneuverable, it's easy to handle, and is a great self-propelled dredging unit because of that feature. If you want to put it in simplistic terms, it's a boat prop that's back there. Uh, just drive it around the lake. I mean, you can go fishing on the thing if you wanted to. Articulation on the cutter head allows us to attack the materials, dense materials, hard materials, in the bottom of a pond at different angles. So you get a you get a material that's in there that's real compact. That a, a great example would be bottom ash, very difficult to get into. Why we can change the angle on that cutter head to get a good attack angle and really get into the material. Um, and in this way, we eliminate the water that's in with the solids. So we get a better slurry, you know, a more solids percentage. The Rotomite has the most aggressive cutter head on the market. Cobra cutter head, it'll chew up almost anything it gets its hands on. The Crystal Foley cutter head is an aggressive auger. It enables to cut and direct the flow of the materials to the pump to efficiently remove it so that large quantities of the material that you want to remove are passed through the float tube as opposed to large quantities of the water. Yeah, we like to the, keep the turbidity down to a minimum when we're um, cutting mud, and uh, the head seems to do real well. It seemed like it was sucking everything in pretty good. I mean, you didn't see much getting by at all. The Christopoli ladder is powered by two hydraulic cylinders. The hydraulic cylinders allow us to get down pressure on the material. Instead of just using the weight of the ladder, as others do, we can, we can push into the material and use the, the whole weight of the dredge instead of the weight of the ladder to cut into the material. It allows the SRS Christopoli uh, Cobra cutter head to dig into the material more aggressively.
before we even went to purchase this dredge, the Rotomite 6000, we talked to a sales rep from Chris Foley and one of our big concerns was the cab. They redesigned that cab before we even purchased it, which was showed the commitment they had to the people that were buying their, buying their Rotomites. The Rotomite has the best cab layout there is. It's ergonomically designed, it's easy to use. Every person that's in that cab has all, all noticed that I got a lot more room. Uh, it's more user friendly than the other dredgers that we that we seen. And it's a very comfortable cab, air conditioned, uh, wide view. It just works really well for the operators. Rotomite 6000 has an unobstructed deck. It's a safe unit. It's handrail equipped. It's uh, ergonomically designed. The Rotomite has uh, increased horsepower which allows for increased production and increased thrust for the propulsion. So far, I uh, see probably a, a, a huge increase in productivity on that as far as solids to the water content to carry the, the sludge compared to our old dredge. We've noticed that we're getting a lot more solids in our, our drying beds instead of water, which is a great plus for us because we can't return the water. The Rotomite 6000 is capable of up to 150 cubic yards an hour of material, not liquid and material, but material. Well, we needed to clear out our uh, intake pond here. Uh, over the course of the year, we get uh, runoff that comes down the Yellowstone and and works its way into the pond here and settles down, so we need to take that out every year. We chose the, uh, the Rotomite 6000. It, it really eats the mud. The articulating head and the uh, beefed up augers really worked out well for us. If we had to purchase another dredge, we'd, we'd definitely go with the uh, SRS Chris Foley. I think that we made the right choice. Uh, service has been great, sales was great, and the dredge is working, the Rotomite 6000 is working great for us.